Welcome to Express, the Alfie podcast, where industry leaders express their points of view on topics that affect the fund industry in Luxembourg and around the world. Today, I welcome Axel De Ville. He is executive director of ADA, a Luxembourgish NGO active in the field of microfinance. He's also chairman of the Luxembourg Microfinance and Development uh, Fund. Mr. De Ville, what are the relations between NGOs like yours and the industry? Um, the relationship is that we, we see the fund industry, I mean, being active in, in microfinance, we see a, a complementarity in the sense that uh, as an NGO, we are more flexible. We, might, we use subsidy to innovate, to, uh, to test things, to, 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 to prepare uh, things. And when we see it works and we need a leverage in terms of funding, then we might link uh, with, with the, with the, the financial industry and fund industry uh, to, to access and to really leverage in terms of funding. So the industry is your ally? Yeah, I mean, yeah, complementary. And at the same time, uh, we also consider we have a role to play to make sure, for example, that the social aspects and the social performance in microfinance remains on the table. And that's, I mean, yeah, a com complementary role. Did microfinance completely recover from the crisis it uh, faced in 2010? Um, completely, it's, I mean, I don't know yet, <laughs> but basically um, uh, the, the crisis that, that, that the microfinance sector faced uh, was really focused on, on a certain number of countries where it was very hard. Um, uh, other countries are still, I mean, to be considered with, with cautions. Um, at the same time, in other countries, even during the last five years, things have evolved uh, very well. So um, what, what has been uh, good, I would say, is that we, we took conscious that we had to change some practices. What did you change then? Uh, what, on a global basis, um, at the sector, I mean, several initiatives are, have been taken, even before the crisis, uh, like the Social Performance Task Force, which is a group now of uh, uh, 300 players, um, focusing on really uh, increasing the social performance uh, aspects uh, within microfinance, and that has been set up uh, more than, than seven years ago. Um, and from that group came out uh, two key initiatives, I would say. First one is a client protection principles initiative, which is called SMART, um, with seven principles that are applied uh, all along the chain from microfinance institutions, also uh, uh, NGOs like us and, and, um, and um, uh, uh, investment funds. Another initiative is the uh, uh, what we call PIF. Uh, it's principles for um, responsible investments in inclusive, in inclusive finance, and that's linked with the UNPRI and Global Compact initiatives. And it's also a couple of principles that investment funds in microfinance have uh, committed to to fit with. And and so these are two very practical initiatives. What is amazing is that. Uh, we see that really within the sector, all these principles are now considered. And if I can go further, um, for example, in microfinance, we have rating agencies specialized in microfinance, and the four specialized agencies have included social performance indicators in their mainstream financial rating, which is, I think, a revolution. It means that an MFI having a very good financial performance, if it doesn't have also if it doesn't fit with the client protection principles, for example, it will not be able to have a good grade, rating rate, meaning that uh, it, it, it is fully integrated. Social aspects are fully integrated in all the, the, the approach of microfinance. And these are changes that have been speed, that have been pushed with the crisis uh, that we, we, we had in, in microfinance. You now explained the consequences uh, on a global level, but what could, what can be done on a local level? For example, your NGO, yeah. ADA, what um, can you do? There are two things. One is to keep the focus in um, making sure that products offered to the end client are adapted to their needs. And it means not only microcredit, but savings, insurance, and so on. Uh, at the level of ADA, we have launched already a couple of years ago uh, a huge projects to develop life insurance in West Africa, and now we are I mean, up to, uh, ready to, to, to set up um, um, an insurance company uh, in Burkina Faso and then in five other countries, which means that 
uh, the, all the people having access to a credit will automatically get access to uh, life insurance, which is quite logical for us. It was not the case until a couple of years ago in West Africa. Now it is the case. Another example is the rating. Uh, ADA has pushed a lot to um, support rating agencies specialized in microfinance to develop a social performance rating methodology and also to integrate some performance social performance indicators in their mainstream financial rating. Meaning that now, I'm, I'm very happy to say that uh, the four specialized rating agencies don't offer anymore a pure financial rating. It is always combined with social performance. Because and credibility is essential for microfinance. Yeah, credibility is essential and, and uh, we also have seen that with the financial crisis, a lot of people said, oh, microfinance is interesting. And at the same time, when they heard about the crisis in microfinance, they say, oh, we need to make sure that where we invest, it really makes sense uh, in terms of social, social performance. So the, the investors are asking that. And I think that uh, it's not the only one, but microfin the microfinance industry is definitely an industry that has made some innovative actions and um, w from which the, 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 the more global finance industry might get inspiration. Okay, thank okay. you very much. So, you're welcome. Thanks.